Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ape and Eric. We're going to check a game called Dusk Diver. It's kind of a weird anime style um, hack and slash RPG type of game. I've only played just like the first minute. This is my initial impressions. But what caught me the most about it was its, it's, it's graphics. Look at it. Um, this look of the whole, you know, anime and Japan type of look in games always makes me uh, fall in love. I think this game actually looks pretty spectacular there's so much to do you know and look at uh and this game <laughs> caught me a little off guard honestly um i picked it up and wanted to go ahead and give it a little a little look and i was pleasantly surprised with the battle system and and the acting and everything in it so i was like you know what let's play through 10 15 minutes show you guys a little bit about it so it does have a lot of narrative things like that as you uh, go through the game and i was like wow this is actually a pretty in-depth experience that i was not expecting um let's go ahead and change my uniform in the dressing room so here we go J japanese games like this always have like weird little like side quests and coffee missions and stuff like that so i don't know like like now we're tidying up the shelf and fixing this store it's like so random isn't it <laughs> like like if you think about it like i was just fighting demons right before i started this and now i'm in a, in a shop organizing goods and and stuff on the shelves like it's it's so random on all right so let's go back and talk to the boss what are you waiting for that leo would handle this Convenience store work. Hard on thought. I mean, I just got started. Why is my character all tired? Mm. Alright, so I want to show you guys some of the action that happens once we get to the fighting. I know, like, this, this Leo guy, he's in human form right here, but he's really like a little, like, yokai, like a little demon, really. Uh, but he's in human form right now. Um, like, like, a, there's like a weird dimension and stuff that happens, and demons, and. Stuff like that, <laughs> honestly, it's pretty out there. Uh, again, I'm not the biggest anime fan in the world, so I find a lot of the stuff that's in them kind of uh, interesting. Um, I'm learning new things constantly, but just taking a look at this game, I was like, wow, this is beautiful. I also like how the people in the distance are like different colors until you approach up on them. I don't know why, I just find that really artsy. So here it comes. Looks like we're going to be entering a different dimension and, and fighting people. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, well, look. Can't go in there. Dragon Bane Shard. Protect you a little. So. Alright. Um, I guess I'm going to use the Dragon Bane Shard. Pick it up. Alright. Interesting. We're going to go in. So now this is Dusk Diver again. Um, let's see what it's all about. It's like a hack and stuff. You'll see here in a minute. Be fighting a lot of people. Look, I have a different look now. And that's what Leo looks like when he's not in human form. So he kind of looks like a little Pokemon type of character. My chick basically just got creepy looking hair. Um, so here we go. We're in the other dimension. And we are going to begin battling. A lot of freaking narration. If I'm skipping over, it doesn't mean I'm not reading it. I am reading it, but, you know, playthrough like this. Anyways, like a playthrough like this, when there's a lot of narration, I try to skip over it to not bore you guys. So we're going to lock on to the opponent. All right. So it is pretty standard as like any kind of like three fighter like this. You got a light attack. A heavy attack and then you're actually able to push a to have your dude see like leo can attack them for me and um yeah I, I mean the battle system is easy to pick up and it does feel satisfying when you finally um start mashing these people your controller just vibrating like crazy too so it's like it's a good feeling when you hit when you hit enemies in this game eventually you get bigger attacks and stuff I don't have them yet, but there's like one where it does like a cool like little cutscene close up and you do like a huge attack that basically clears out the screen like one of the Dynasty Warriors games. Alright, so I think that's it. 
think we cleared these cute little enemies. They always have cute little enemies too. That are like attacking you. Always make you feel so bad for for yes. defeating for defeating enemies. Angel. Alright, so we're going to the marked location now. And uh whatever that was, I guess that's some little power-ups and stuff. Doesn't seem like I can pick them up. Actually. All right. Uh, go to the marked location. Wall chaos. Okay. So, summon Leo to break the wall chaos. There you go, Leo. I ain't talking no Leonardo from Ninja Turtles, am I? Shards nearby. Take a look around. So look, this is like a, an alternate universe of the city that I'm in. It's kind of weird, right? It's like the upside down on Stranger Things. So let's move ahead over here. Got some shards, nice. And let's move down over this way. All right. Come this way. All right. All right. You know, it does get a little repetitive, but that's what game hookers are. <laughs> you know, what can you expect from a from almost a, a hack and slash beat em up type of game? I'm sure we're gonna see a big enemy here in a little bit. I don't know what these things do, but they are kind of cool. Maybe they refill your energy or your health. And then of course there's this stuff. Let's just destroy the random boxes that are in the street. And I, apparently I don't need the green stuff because my, guess that's my health. My health seems like it's pretty full. Okay, here we go. Special attack. Lucky strikes. Okay, see, so here's the special attack. That's like a screen clearer if I've ever seen one. And you can build it up. And uh, use it to your advantage. So let's do it right here. Screen attack. Boom. Nice. Alright. Come this way. Alright. Things look like chain chomps, kind of, right? Okay, so those blue things, you stand in them and I guess it refills your... Your special attack energy so that's that's useful right should be over now all right let's, let's head towards super armor state dodge and attack efficiently all right so here's big dudes all right, so these guys got super armor apparently I take him out. All right. I mean, that was pretty easy, right? All right. Let's come on down to the street. Make our way to the location. Let's open these little item boxes. While we're at it. Okay. These bigger enemies definitely need a hand destroying because they uh, they take a quite a bit more hits. The number of chaos beasts is increasing. Oh my gosh! So beat all of them. Now I'm just getting bombarded. Mm. 
Come on, beast! There we go. Took out a good amount of them. Still got these two big SOBs. And, uh, get rid of them right here. Alright. Any day now. Come on. Alright. That took long enough. You know, games like this are fun and everything, but it does get after a while. It's like, come on. Especially when you're watching somebody else play. So I'm more worried about this kind of somewhat keeping your interest and not boring y'all. But that was first quest. I think that's more than enough for you guys to get an idea of what this game is all about. Um, not bad. I mean, it looks cool. It looks like it's going to be a very lengthy single player experience that's worth checking out i like the art style everything about it let me know what you guys think and uh click like if you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys on the next one have a great day peace out consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month link below in the description you want to become part of the hashtag 8be nation guys well be sure to pick up your official merch now available online Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video. Or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.